Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on a CTF challenge from Seesaw 2022. Uh, this is in the crypto category and it's called Phi Too Much in Common. So it says blah, blah, blah. He loves to play crypto, but does he need a refresher on RSA? So we have a good idea. This has something to do with RSA. We have a connection here using netcat. Let's go ahead and connect to that. As it comes up here, you notice that we have three options, ciphertext info, solve challenge, or exit. So let's try ciphertext info. And with that, oh, it's slow. I don't know what's, what's going on here. There we go. We're given three pieces of information. N, which is the public key number, E, which is the exponent, and C, which is the ciphertext um, encoded. So we've got the public key information and the ciphertext. That's not enough for us to crack this. Um, one thing that was key to me is notice how we have an option to request it again. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we're looking for similarities between these. Nothing there. Let's try it again. And I don't see anything there. Let's keep trying it. This was what took me so long because I didn't realize that uh, I just, I don't know. Anyways, notice how this one starts with 129 ends in 397 and the very last one we got has the same 129 397 so a common um, public key number or the attack that we're going to do is called a uh, common modulus so a RSA common modulus so let's see um, how we do this I wrote out the script, how I solve it. Um, the attack is here and it's uh, basically, I don't, I don't have the ability to go into all the math, um, but this will give you a good idea of how, if the public number is the same and we have different exponents between the two. So this one's 1936 and this one is 106.2, we can use this with some fancy math to uh, decrypt the encrypted text. Um, and this is the script that I wrote to do that. So I wrote a greatest common denominator, uh, you know, function and a this attack function that, let's see, gets the Modular multiplicative, multiplicative inverse um, of E1 mod E2 and then gets the greatest common denominator of E1 and E2, subtracts it from E1 and then multiplies it by the modular multiplicative inverse of E1 and then uh, does integer division or floor division with E2. And then we build this temporary uh, variable that is the modular multiplicative inverse of C2 mod N. And then we calculate M1, which is the uh, encrypted text C1 uh, raised to the S1 mod the, you know, the public key number. And then we calculate M2, which is that temp number raised to the negative S2, and that's their mod N. Finally, we return um, M1 times M2 mod N, right? Once we have that information, let's see right here, we can turn that from hex to... Let's see, so we're formatting it as hex here, and then we're turning it from hex to uh, a string or bytes 
and then we're decoding those bytes to get the plain text. So enough talking, let's see how this works. Python common, uh, let me just run that. So it's asking for the end version. Let's start with our first one, which was 129. So I'll paste that. It wants the E1. I'll paste that. And then it wants the C1 and I'll paste that. And then it wants the E2. Remember, we're looking for 129. There we go. There's the E value for the second boom and the C value for that second one. Give it that. Boom, we get this plain text message. Awesome. Um, this is not the flag, though, which is tricky. So we have this number two option here so we can do two and then paste that string and we're given the second part of this challenge which is phi uh, we need to calculate phi given the public number the exponent and the private key uh, integer so this took me a little bit a little while to uh, do but you see I reuse the greatest common denominator function but here's the attack so basically we calculate a K and that's uh, the private number times the exponent minus one and then um, we pick a G such that G is greater than two and less than n minus two And then we take the, we set t equal to k, and then we make sure that t is even. Otherwise, we pick, you know, we go through this. Otherwise, we can't really do anything here. Um, and then we do floor division by two, so uh, divide t in half. And then we take the... Um, g raised to the t mod n and save that as x and then we have the another temp variable here so we're taking um, that x value and we're determining the greatest common denominator between it and n so if that if that exists and the number is greater than one and temp uh, x is greater than one and temp is greater than one, we're saying that's the p value. So we return uh, p, so set p this, which means this doesn't fire, and we return p here. And then with, once we find p, figuring out N, uh, q is really easy because we just take uh, q equal to n, again, using floor division to keep using integers and then once we have those two phi is you know a simple equation uh, multiply them together each one minus one and then we log it so let's run that one python calculate uh, phi we need the n value paste we need the e value And then we need the D value. Run that, and we get a phi right here. Again, we'll need to do two, paste that, enter, and boom, there's the flag. Sweet. Uh, so this took me quite a while, like I said, but that's how we did a common modulus attack on RSA and then in addition to that we uh, did the prime factorization of n to figure out p and q given that we're given you know n e and d the public number the exponent 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 whatever <laughs> and the private key uh, integer value. 
All right. Well, I hope this was interesting or at least eye-opening or whatever. Oh, and here's where I got that formula. That, let's take a look at uh, that link while I have it here. Um, yeah, so this is, so I basically implemented this in my, uh, in my code to do the factorization of n given, you know, n, e, and d. So this is it in text format. If you wanted to check that out, here's the URL and that's it. So, uh, yeah, this was a tough challenge. I uh, really stretched me for RSA attacks. Um, I'm slowly getting better, but little by little. All right. Hope you liked it. Leave any comments, questions, anything I can help with, out with. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.